Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome. So I just completed a beautiful bookmark, which I wanted to share with you. Now I have a rather extensive book collection, but sadly, I don't read as much as I should. But when I do, I do appreciate a functional, nice looking bookmark. The only major supply for our project is going to be three pieces of Paracord 550. I recommend different colors. Each of my strands is about four feet long and I gutted the inner strands out of my cords to ensure a flatter lay for my bookmark. I'm going to start off my braid using a clipboard or perhaps just a nail in a plank. Something to hold my braid at the start of the braiding process. What we're going to do is an Australian way of starting a strap, which in my opinion looks great in this sort of a project. So we grab one of our cords, let's say this one, we fold it in half and we form a loop. We place our loop under our clip or around a nail in a plank. We grab our next cord, fold it in half and weave the middle point under over through the loop. So under this part here, over this part here. We grab our final cord, fold it in half, and we weave it through the loop this time over under. So over this part under this part here. The braiding process is extremely intuitive and honestly very simple. We are always going to be using the top strand when we're braiding. In our case I'm going to start with the top right strand and we always travel the opposite to our previous strand. So in our case the previous strand is this part of the loop which goes over then under. So going opposite we travel under then over. Same thing on the left. We are going to travel the opposite to this part of the loop, so our previous strand going over, under, over. Returning back to the right side, this strand goes the opposite to the previous one, under, over. And this one, so the top left one, opposite to the previous strand, so over, under, over. Now at this point, I'm going to remove my braid from the clip and tighten everything up just so that I get a nice looking start to my braid. With that done, I place my braid back 
under the clip and continue breathing. Top right, under, over, top left, over, under, over. Top right, under, over, top left, over, under, over. Always the same thing, under, over, on the right, over, under, over, on the left. Now you can do this in your hand or by using a clap. It is up to you. As long as the braid turns out well, you are good to go. In my case, I'm going to be braiding for a length of about 5 inches. Your braid can be longer, shorter, depending on your personal preference. We finish up with the foot rope knot. First let's split our pairs by color. So we have one pair here, the second pair here, third pair here. We now tie a crown knot. Placing one pair counterclockwise over the next pair, then the next pair counterclockwise over the third pair and the third pair passes into the opening created by our first pair of strands. Resulting in a triangular shaped crown knot so you can see the triangle here from the top. I'm going to line up my strands Tighten a bit, then our final step. Grab a pair of strands, pass it over the next pair coming out of the braid, then immediately up to the center of the crown knot. So over a pair, then up through the center. Grab the next pair, do the same thing. Over the next pair coming out of the braid, then immediately up through the center of the crown knot. Our final pair again passes over a pair of strands coming out of the braid, then immediately up through the center of the knot. So this is essentially a foot rope knot tied two strands at a time. I do this to preserve the color combination in the knot. In my opinion, it looks nice. So to tighten it up, we start at the ends coming into the knot, 
we pull them through the knot into the very ends of our strands. Then the next pair, exactly the same thing. Going through the knot, into the two ends coming out of the knot. Do some final tightening up. Then it's time to trim our six ends. So guys, this concludes our tutorial on the braided bookmark. I really like this project, it is simple, yet still decorative enough so that you can use it or gift it to a loved one, friend or anyone else. Thank you for joining me and see ya next time.